Thank you, Zahra. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Morning Barakah. And in this segment, we're going to be discussing health and nutrition. And here with me is Sana. Welcome, Sana. Thank you, Fahima. And we're going to be talking about um, Middle Eastern food, but hopefully bringing it in a healthy way of eating. So yeah. what have you got for us today in our first? So today I'm going to be making a, a grilled pepper and tomato uh, salad. Okay, I haven't heard of that before. It's not something you really think about when you're making salad, but it's a traditional Moroccan uh, salad that we have. Interesting. And it's very tasty and really quick and easy to make. Okay, so tell us about the ingredients that you use. So we're going to be using some uh, red peppers, uh, yellow peppers, green peppers, and some tomatoes. They've all been uh, grilled. Mm -hmm. So um, before, obviously, we, we'd start, we will grill them. You can grill them in the oven. Uh, traditionally, they would put it on the fire stove and let it go all black, and then you would put it in a bag and seal the bag and let it sweat. And then when it sweats, the skins will come off okay, easily. Okay, so let's see you prepare this. So let's prepare, yeah. So well, these are interesting ingredients, and I know that um, peppers generally are very rich in vitamin C's, mm -hmm. and it also contains a lot of water. It's like 92% water, which is really, really healthy for us. I mean, a lot of the times we don't realize how much we need to hydrate ourselves, mm -hmm. how much we need to keep, because our brain actually contains majority water. A lot of people don't understand this fact. We always say we have to have a lot of water, and it's for a reason, because there is a function that we have to ha maintain in our body. And being hydrated constantly, you know, sometimes we forget. So having these ingredients that contain the extra water, and in this general you know, salad, there's no lettuce which normally has water. Exactly. So the yeah. green peppers, or the red and, you know, which ones you're using, they actually do contain quite a lot of water. Exactly, yeah. And I mean, it depends on what you would like to use. You can use just one colour or you can mix like we're doing today. I prefer to mix because I just think it makes the salad look a lot more bright and vibrant and it just looks a lot more, um, you know, attractive to the eye when, when you're looking at it. Um, but it is something that we use a lot in Morocco and it's something that, like I said, it's very quick, it's tasty and we're going to be mixing, you know, um, a lot of other things in there like the parsley and the coriander and the olive oil which will also okay. give it that additional taste. You've got even health benefits of um, green peppers which, in, you know, it basically reduces sort of several chronic diseases. Mm -hmm. And even um, not just taking into consideration um, the health benefits from, you know, normal um, studies that have done, even in Islam, when we, Imam Ali salam says that it's type of taqwa is to actually take care of your health, yeah. not just, you know, spiritually, but physically. Exactly. And this type also can help you prevent any sort of diseases. And so we need to take more interest in mm -hmm. what we eat. And I know even when I coach clients, as even though I'm not a you know, nutritionist, I do take a lot of interest as to how clients' diet works. Because even though I work with the mind, yeah. we have a lot of foods nowadays that actually make a difference to your mood. There are foods for your mood. It can increase or decrease stress or anxiety. It can help with your, you know, mental, you know, ability to give you more boost. And mm. all of these ingredients that we're going to use hopefully throughout the show yeah. is going to give us that insight and awareness. Exactly, and what I yeah. also think is really important is that we want to stick to sometimes our own culture food, which is yeah. we always think that if we're going to diet, we're going to be healthy. We cannot do that with our own food, but we actually can. Exactly. Yeah. It's really important that, you know, we highlight that when we use these ingredients, this is from our, you know, the cultures and the backgrounds that we're used to and we can actually use it to our benefit. Exactly. We can adjust it. So, for example, Absolutely. where, you know, sometimes they would fry this in oil. Yes. So you mm -hmm. can think, you know what, I want to be a bit more healthier today. So instead of frying it, put it in the oven and, and grill it. So the taste, obviously, we do know when something is fried, it does taste a lot better. But it's not That's much individual of a, choice, really. Yeah, yeah I know. It, it, it's, it's, it's not much of a big difference, really, because you're still getting the benefits and the taste. Absolutely. So, you know, like so remind said, me again. So how did you prepare this? So uh, with the peppers and the tomatoes, I grilled them. And once they went quite dark, Okay. Um, I placed them in a in a bag and I allowed them to sweat for about 10 minutes. Okay. And once I did that, I took them out and then I peeled the skin, the skin off, off the outside, which was when the, the good tip with the bag is that it's a lot easier to take it off. Okay. So it will be a bit messy. So I would advise to do it in the sink 
and also I even see you using gloves at the moment which would you yes. normally use at home well not all the time but because we want to promote uh, you know health, health and and to keep uh, hygiene exactly yes. to keep hygiene in mind as well so it's quite important to do that um, so yes yeah, so now what I've done is I haven't used all of it because I don't think we need it yes um, but I've just chopped a bit of each and now what I'm going to add is a mixture of the just a bunch it obviously again it depends on what you like and your taste yeah, buds of course if you prefer to put more in it's up to you you can so what herb is that have you got in so there? this is a mixture of both parsley and uh, coriander in i here. love parsley in my salad it actually makes such a difference it's lovely and the fragrance of it is so so nice absolutely it adds color taste and it is really another part of your healthy plan exactly to yeah. add because a lot of the times we might put it on certain foods and just as a garnish but we can take advantage of having more if you add it to the salad. Exactly, yeah. And again, with this, you can chop it as, as you know, as fine. fine as you want. I prefer to do it a bit more fine. As some people like to just put it in completely Whole. off the, the leaf yeah. and mix yeah. it in. Again, it's, it's down okay. to your own individual choice of how you prefer. Um, now, another thing that I'm going to put in there is olive oil. I put a tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, olive oil. It's really, really good for the health and it can lower cholesterol. So I think it's really, really advisable that we should use more olive oil in our cooking generally. Yes, exactly. I mean, uh, in, in Morocco, traditionally, we always use olive oil for okay. most of our cookings. We hardly use sunflower Even vegetable. in normal food cook, um, foods? Normal foods. So, okay. you know, in our stews, in our curries, any of these things, we would always use olive oil, mainly vegetable and uh, sunflower oil if we're frying like potatoes or chips yeah. or, or these things, we would yeah. use it. But olive oil is pretty much used okay. in, in most of our in our cooking. So. Yeah, I mean, it's really, really good. It normalizes blood clotting and it can prevent sort of high blood pressure. We don't realize these ingredients are so important. Exactly. You yeah. know, subhanAllah, these ingredients are natural and they are so good for us. And even, um, you know, we always think that we have to live a healthy life just by thinking in a particular way. But mm -hmm. actually our body and our mind has to work hand in hand. And it's really important that we understand you know, a lot more about food and mm -hmm. how we can actually use that to our benefit and even still enjoy exactly. what we normally used to. Exactly, yeah. That so, looks amazing, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> now we just need to season it um, and it's with a bit of basic seasoning, really, just salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. um, and I would put in here about a teaspoon I, I mean, love balsamic vinegar, but because you've put the olive oil, the salt, and you've got the parsley, I mean, it is a choice to put lemon or balsamic vinegar. That's an extra, or do you think, because you're having this as a side, does that make a you difference? You could do. It depends. I mean, it would probably be very tasty with the vinegar okay. and, and some lemon juice, but um, this is how we traditionally make it, so you can add if you How do like. you have it alongside what particular food? So we would have this as um, traditionally on a table, we would have the main meal in the middle. Okay. So whether that will be like a chicken tagine or a lamb tagine, and around the the actual uh, main meal will be little plates of these salads. Okay. And so, um, and each plate would have a spoon. Perfect. So each person around the table would have their own salad. Their own portion. Exactly. Yeah. So okay. that's why um, we're not making a lot because it's not something that you don't make huge amounts. I was going to say, it's small yeah. Portions. Yeah, I wanted a big bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and again, obviously, you can choose to um, have it you know, on its own, if you don't want to have it with a meal, it's, you know, you don't need Absolutely. to have it Absolutely, if you just want a quick snack, it's really healthy and it's quite hydrating yeah. and it's really colorful and tasty. I'm just looking at it, I can't wait to taste it. Yes, and it smells very it nice, smells isn't it? It smells amazing, especially when you've roasted it, like exactly. and grilled it like you have. It's just so beautiful if anyone can, you know, exactly. smell it. It's really, really lovely. And I'm gonna also add, um, obviously again, this is based to your own tasting. Yeah, of course, black um, pepper. I don't like too much black pepper, mm -hmm. so I'll put about half a teaspoon. Um, or even less, about okay. quarter. And then that's everything. Okay. So I see we've also got some lovely bread here as well. Nice. Is that something that you normally have, or is it like rice normally with a meal, or do you have both? No, we actually traditionally have bread. So okay, all of our right. dishes, even our curries, our stews, our tagines, they're all with bread, mm -hmm. fresh bread. Mm -hmm. So uh, even salads. We have them we with, have bread. It with bread. Yes. Okay. And traditionally, they would eat it with the the salad with their fingers, because you know, like as part of the sunnah, is they say it's good to eat with the definitely the, with the your hands with your hands. Yes. Um, because as the prophet, peace be upon him, did. Exactly. Yes. yes. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now serve it. I'll just move this out of the way. 
Let me help you there a bit. Put that behind you. Okay. Eagerly wait, <laughs> waiting. <laughs> Now, again, I said it's, it's very basic, it's very simple. Anyone can make it at home really quickly. And most of us have these ingredients in the fridge. Well, to be fair, like I said, it's not the traditional salad. And I think it's really healthy to have um, a different way of having salad, which includes different ingredients, which actually have more health benefits than the usual salad. Yeah. And again, this could be a little bit more filling because exactly. you can have the salad alongside bread. Yeah. And as that, even as, as a lunch meal, I personally would have that as a quick lunch you know, snack if I was really busy and didn't have time to prepare and make anything or even to take that away because, I don't know, you mentioned before you could have that hot or cold. I, exactly, yeah. So this one is a cold one, but if you would like to make it hot, similar things that we've just done, right. but we would put it on a pan mm -hmm. and put a little bit of, uh, again, olive oil in the pan. Right. Um, but this time we would add some, just a little bit of onions, a bit of garlic, and then put all the ingredients inside, allow it to just kind of simmer and absorb all of the, the flavours, right. the salt, the pepper, and also the parsley. And it will become a little bit more mushy. Yeah, softer. Exactly. Yes. Yes. So it's even easier to eat with bread. So sometimes it could become almost like a little stew. Yeah. Um, and you can have it with bread or even mm -hmm. on, on, with a spoon on its own. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so there's two ways. This is the cold version and the warm. They're both very tasty. So you can give it a go. Um, and Do you, you find know, that? having this sort of ingredients um, especially with children do mm -hmm. you find that they can easily you know take that because it's very difficult to have children eat these types of vegetables and yeah. greens for example it, it's true you know what one of the things that you can do is um, now not all children like uh, fresh peppers they will prefer it grilled or vice Softer. versa yes, they would like depending. it the other way yeah. so for example one of the things that I've mm -hmm. noticed is that my daughter prefers it if it's grilled so she, she enjoys yeah. it like that. If I was to give it to her fresh, she'd be like, mm, I, I'm not really It's a different texture and different taste. Exactly. And it's easier to have it in that sort of form. And just looking at it, it looks absolutely delicious. Yes. And the crunchiness, I, I guess, you know, uh, again, you said it's a, you know, it's a personal sort of taste. It, it is, yeah, yeah. exactly. And um, like I said, it's not for everyone, but you can give it a try. It's very easy. It's not the normal salad that we would have with lettuce and cucumber. Which is what I love because it's yeah. nice to have something different. And again, it's, it is traditional. It comes from, you know, um, what we would normally have, you know, in our cultures and backgrounds, but at the same time, we use it for our own health benefits mm. to improve our way of living and being. And we don't realize that, you know, what we have and what we intake in our body makes such a difference to our everyday dealings. Yeah. So this is why it's really important that we learn so much about what we have generally. So exactly. anyway, I'm just going to tuck in yes, quickly. Yes, go ahead. I can't wait. <laughs> just trying to try this. A bit of parsley as well. Mmm. Mmm. It's quite that refreshing. That is so delicious. Yeah. I love it. I mean, I love vegetables anyway, so I'm... Oh, my God. It's probably nicer as well when you put it in the fridge and let it get a little bit cooler. But I love it. And it, the thing is, and just on its own, mm -hmm. not even having any bread alongside it. Yeah. And that's an amazing plate just to have with, so, you know, like I said, as a takeaway meal that you just, you know, in a rush... And if it was, you know, for the next day, if you're going to work, yeah. it's just perfect. If you have guests as well, um, it's also something that's really easy and quick to make. Because, you know, when you have guests over, you always think, what can I serve with the main meal? This could be something that you could do at home. It's quick and easy. And it's something new that you can, you know, show to, the, to, to your visitors that's at home. That's amazing. Well, so, thank you, Sana. That was really welcome. interesting. And hopefully, you know, the audience have sort of gained a little bit more awareness of some of these ingredients and this recipe. And I hope you will use this in your home and enjoy Thank you for watching and inshallah we'll see you next time. Assalamu alaikum.